my name is Carolyn Dean, drcarolyndean.com. I'm a medical doctor and a naturopathic doctor, and I live in beautiful Maui. I've finished my 22nd health book. I have a free newsletter, and I also have an online wellness program that you can join. And today in this series, I'll be talking about dieting. The Sugar Busters Diet, I like this diet because there is an emphasis on decreasing the refined sugar in the diet. It was begun as a self-published book by, I think, three doctors and a CEO in New Orleans, and then it, it was picked up by a major publisher, Valentine. The book focuses on avoiding refined sugars, and then it goes even deeper, uh, avoiding starchy sugars like carrots and beets and corn. The first stage of the diet is a detox where it's about 1,200 calories and eliminating all sugars and um, sugary starches. People will lose weight on that aspect of the diet, but it can be too strict. Um, I don't like a 1,200 uh, calorie diet usually because it can lead to a starvation mode where you start holding on to any sugar you can because the body feels like it's under attack. It's only about a week or so that you do the, the first uh, detox stage, and then it goes into uh, it's about 40% carbohydrate, 30% protein, 30% fat. The premise of the Sugar Busters Diet is to balance out your insulin, and they say you can prevent insulin resistance by this diet. Dietitians don't like this diet. They think a major food group is being avoided by avoiding sugar. But what they don't get, I don't think, is that not all sugars are the same. They say all sugars are the same, they end up in the same place. But what, what the Sugar Busters is talking about is say you take a, a can of soda which has 10 teaspoons of sugar you're hitting your body with a huge whack of sugar. And at any one time in your bloodstream, you only have about two teaspoons of sugar. So that 10 teaspoons of sugar, just, it spikes your insulin. And this, the spiked insulin will try to force a lot of sugar into your cells. And after a while, insulin resistance can start because the cells become resistant to that pressure. Dietitians say that insulin resistance is something that the doctor diagnosed and you can't have people treating their insulin resistance, but that's crazy talk. Basically, if we cut down our refined sugar, then we'll cut down these spikes and we will um, change uh, the way our cells react to insulin, react to blood sugar. So I agree with the, the sugar busters diet. It's a bit strict in the beginning, but I think they're on the right track and they're helping a lot of people by focusing on the avoidance of refined sugars.